My name is Carol Suarez, and today I'll be answering the question, to what extent have the influences of communism violated human rights in Latin America countries over the 21st century? Communism is defined as a political and economic ideology, only the basic means of production by the government. It was first known in 1848 by the Communist Manifesto by German philosopher Karl Marx. Communism wasn't just integrated over Europe and Asia, but it was also integrated in, a Latin, America, in Latin America countries. In decades, it caused and still causes terribly and massive violation of human rights. My claim is that the influences and presence of communism in political parties in the government and in our groups have brutally and immensely violated human rights in countries residing in Latin America. Human rights are rights directed to every human being. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights, as illustrated right here, was um, declared by the United Nations General Assembly, declaring three rights for worldwide freedom, peace, and justice. These are rights considered as an obligation to states to respect for every other citizen. Therefore, every country has the obligation to respect uh, and fulfill human rights of their people. In Cuba, uh, communism was established in 1959 by political leader, by communist leader Fidel Castro, and he, uh, when he passed away in 2008, he passed his power to his brother, Raul Castro, who is currently in the power. According to a report by CNN, in Cuba there is no freedom of movement and residence which violates Article 13, Section 1. There's no political rights, which violates Article 2. And there's, there's no freedom of expression, which disrupts Article 19 from, from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Communism did, did not only bring deaths and restrictions to the citizens, to citizens but it also caused, caused feelings of sadness for those that had to escape the country. According to Looking for the Gulf Motel, a poem uh, written by a Cuban son of two Cuban immigrants, reads, the only waves keeping time, a song only their minds tear, send all some nights back to their life in Cuba. It can be, it can be perceived, the feelings of sorrow, uh, when Richard Blanco refers to his parents' life back to the life, their life in Cuba before the Castro communism. In just 16 years, in Venezuela, there have been more than 252,000 deaths. It all increased in 1999 when Hugo Rafael Chavez Frias was elected to the presidency. He was representing both parties, the PSUV, which is the United Socialist Party of Venezuela, and the PCV, which is the Communist Party of Venezuela. The PCV is inspired by Marxism and Leninism. And um, he then established an authoritarian regime which had the support and still has the support of Cuba, which is a communist regime. According to Human Rights Watch, which is a non-governmental organization that advocates for human rights, Venezuela is a victim of daily violations of human rights. On the other hand, uh, politicians, they totally deny that there is a humanitarian crisis happening. crisis humanitaria. No la hay, lo afirmo con total responsabilidad. No la hay. Nosotros tenemos problemas acá, pero esto no es para nada de crisis humanitaria. En nuestra propia cara ellos son capaces de decirnos que aquí no está pasando nada y que no estamos en crisis, pero es totalmente falso, porque mientras ellos se mantienen en una posición de negarlo todo, mucha gente está muriendo, mucha gente está padeciendo. En Venezuela se Hospitals around the country have run out of basic medicines and supplies. In addition, severe shortages of food and other goods have made it very difficult for many people to even feed their families. As the video that was just played, the America's director from the Human Rights Watch um, said that there is extreme shortage of food and medicine, which violates Article 25, which gives right to a standard, standard of living adequate for the health and well-being, including food, clothing, and housing and medical care. 
For more than a decade, the government has expanded its abuses and power to regulate media if those express different uh, political expressions. From 2015 to 2017, there has been an increase of 700 number of cases of censorship uh, between radio stations, websites, and newspapers. This graph conveys that the government violates Article 19 from the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which gives freedom of speech. In Colombia, there was a 52-year 52 52-year 52 armed conflict between the government and two rebel groups, the FARC and the ELN, which is this one. Um, they have promoted uh, 103,089 deaths because of terrorist attacks, and the ELN has promoted um, 2,330 deaths, 30 murders because of the guerrillas. This shows that the Article 3 of uh, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights have been violated, which is the right to life. Human rights in Latin America have been deeply disrupted, especially freedom of speech. A civil rights activist, Martin Luther King, stated, freedom is never voluntarily given by the press, or it must be demanded of the press. He emphasizes that freedom of speech must be demanded, not regardless of the oppressions. With the supported quote mentioned, and by taking into consideration all the research ga gathered, my conclusion is that Latin American countries shall raise their voice until their purpose is met. Some solutions are promoting human rights, civil and political rights, reporting abuses by communicating with representatives, and contacting non-governmental organizations such as the Amnesty International Group and the Human Rights Watch, which uh, they cannot enforce the law to punish those that violate the law, but they can surely put pressure on the government to do so. However, my solutions have some implications. There will be continued abuses and more enforced repression since the government do not tolerate the idea of people raising their voices up against them. I have some pros, pros too. There is the decrease of human rights violation, which leads to the full field of human rights and possibly impacts the well-being of the country and its people. What precious may you have? Thank you. Hi, hey Carl, I have two questions for you. First up. What evidence did you gather that you didn't use, and then why didn't you use it? Uh, evidence that I gathered was um, evidence from the Communist Manifesto, from the Black Book of Communism. Um, they had uh, data of how many murders have been committed in Latin America because of communism, but I didn't use it because it was from 1999, so my question was um, regarding the 21st century. So. Okay, and... Uh, what advice would you have for other people that research a topic like this? My advice is to fully understand the articles of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights because it's the, it's the, the main um, thing to understand what, what are some things that are happening in these countries. For example, um, many countries such as Venezuela, they, have, they don't have freedom of speech, so we have to first understand what are human rights and which articles they're violating. You're done. <laughs>